Hello everyone, so this is Shruti Ahuja, MBBS student at GMC at Chandigarh. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to give your and study for your MBBS first year uh, final exams. At this point of time, you all must be very worried about how to prepare for your final exams and pre-university because I think so it is your first time attempting an exam with so much thick books and such a wide syllabus. But yes, you would be usual to it um, after you give this exam and you will come to know your own strategy as well. But for this exam and this time, let me guide you. So if you have made your notes of all the three subjects already, then just switch off this video and go and study because you have done your 90% um, thing and work task already. You just need to revise, revise and revise your notes only because that is your only savior. But wait, just one thing more that you need to focus on PYQs as well because maybe one or two PYQs or some things which are not in our notes, but yes, they are in PYQs, may be asked in your exam as well. So, you need to focus, you need to uh, review the papers, university exam papers and the send-ups papers yourself once one time before the exam because that will give you an idea like knee joint comes in short answer question or long answer question, right? Like, um, in our uh, college exam, knee joint, ankle joint, elbow joint, these were long answer questions. For that, we used to prepare some long answer uh, like notes beforehand so that we can revise and write extra points as per the long answer question in the exam, right? So, reviewing the past year papers, solving the BYQs is very, very important, right? So, next thing is that if you have not made your notes, then you need to watch this full video. Yes. Next, like for uh, like um, anatomy, anatomy there we have embryo and explain why questions, which are like two marker questions, right? If you have not studied well, like the whole year, then just leave the tension and leave the concept of those questions because those are so usually solved uh, either through M uh, PYQ part or you can solve them if you have a deep understanding of the concept and the subject. Next, long answer questions, 99.9% .9 times it is the PYQ only. If I know that uh, the knee joint or the ulnar nerve course will come in long answer questions, is ha has been asked in long answer question previously, then um, it is like a high chance is there that it will be asked again. Because like it is very rare that new concept or new topics come in long answers, right? Third is short answer questions. And short answer question, again, if it is like five questions, then four will be BYQ, one will be new. So it is very like very much wise to focus on those four questions instead of that one. Okay. Next is diagrams. In diagrams, practice by drawing. If you if you will see that hundred, diagram hundred times also in front of your eyes, if you will trace that, if you can imagine, but you don't draw it with your own hands, then you will either you will take more time in drawing in the exam and you will lack and you will they, um, you will leave the paper right or you will not draw a very beautiful diagram and that will not fetch you marks. So practice by drawing beforehand at home. Next, follow any diagrammatic notes of uh, any platform coaching institute I would not mention. Second, watch one shot videos if you have not watched any video beforehand because that videos, one shot videos especially will give you a like full mind map and concept map of all this whole syllabus and if you are low on confidence, it will also help to boost your confidence that yes, you know something and you have to just fill the gaps at this time. Third is solve MCQs if you have, um, if you are like good on your preparation, right? Because that will also uh, boost your confidence and strengthen the connections. Next subject is physiology. Physiology, the other name is flowcharts. So in every question, flowchart. If like in any question you have uh, written um, your um, paragraph format, then just think you will get a one mark uh, less, right? Uh, as compared to the flowchart answer. Next, um, don't follow Guyton, Genong or any other standard book at this point of time. Yes, that will be a disaster. 
yes you need to uh, review the, the your diagrams and graphs one time before the exam yes you need to but also um, ensure don't start reading the whole book right now follow some like simple physiology notes or telegram like many notes are available or any coaching platform notes right revise from them if you have not made your own notes third is biochemistry the other name is cycles diagrams and flow charts again so just start drawing and learning the cycles just uh, like for gluconeogenesis just take pen and paper and draw and start and like fill the gaps if you are not able to rec uh, like recall those uh, diagrams and cycles see from the text see from the books and notebooks and then fill your gaps you need to do active recall at this point of time for biochemistry and i think so for all subjects right but the book um, a specific book which will help you and explain why questions your diagrams questions long answer short answer everything is prasad biochemistry yes it is the like gold standard for your exams purpose and also you can follow jambulkar with due respect because i also followed both so yes again you don't have any time left for reading standard books made be grays harper ganong gaiter anything no standard book at this point of time just do exam oriented study just leave the thoughts of that uh, like i want to be a conceptual person right so just leave those thoughts you need to do exam oriented study at this point of time after the exams you can again uh, reboost your preparation second year onwards and you will have a very much like a uh, good scope to your uh, fill your gaps and uh, improve up upon your mistakes at this point of time do pyq based and exam oriented study only i hope this was a very self explanatory and um, easy to understand video if you want about practical also then do comment and stay tuned subscribe the channel and share it with your friends because sharing is caring and everyone needs help at this point of time